At first look, I may seem to be confident and secure in my appearance and my emotions, but that is only because that's what I want you to see. Some of you may be surprised to know that I have a closet full of masks. I've been wearing and collecting them for as long as I can remember. Each mask in my collection has served a purpose. As a child, I wore masks to disguise my pain and anger, fear and disappointment, sadness and hopelessness. As the innocence of my childhood was smothered by the realities of life, my collection of masks grew. Poor and hungry, I have a mask for that. Dysfunctional home and drunk dad, I have a mask for that. Watching daddy punch mommy, I have a mask for that. Adolescence brought new experiences and the need for more masks. Sexually molested by a relative, I have a mask for that. Surrounded by addiction, crime, and violence, I have a mask for that. A close friend is shot and killed, I have a mask for that. Overwhelmed by the destructive forces of my environment and my own self-destructive efforts, my masks enabled me to disconnect. Don't talk, don't feel. Behind my masks, I was able to escape. I would fight, act out, and self-medicate. Behind these masks, I continue to conceal my wounds and my insecurities out of fear of being judged and perceived as weak. Only sharing with others my superficial scars while keeping the deep wounds suppressed. Never did I think I would reveal myself to another soul and then they helped me change my life. They provided me the comfort and trust to stand before them, unmasked and exposed, emotionally and psychologically. They encouraged me to feel and be real, to cry and to heal. They helped me become comfortable with who I am and they made me realize I don't need a mask for that.